figure 4-6, ventral arteries and veins supplying digestive organs of the fetus. The first thing that we have is the descending aorta, which we can see here. As you move caudally down the descending aorta, the first thing that you'll come to is the celiac artery. I know it's hard to see, but it'll be pinned well on a practical. So you go from the celiac artery, which is going to bifurcate into the lianic artery and the left gastric artery. So the artery feeding the stomach is the gastric artery. The artery feeding the spleen is the lianic artery. Then moving caudally along the, oh sorry, the celiac artery is also going to become the hepatic artery after that bifurcation that feeds the stomach and the spleen. Now moving caudally down the descending aorta, we're going to get to the cranial mesenteric artery, and that's going to go to the to the jejunoileum. Yeah, to the jejuno arteries. Moving caudally further, we'll get to the renal artery. Again, this is the left kidney. Okay, so then moving somewhat in reverse, we have the left renal vein. That's going to go into the caudal vena cava. Now lying superior to the caudal vena cava, we have the mesenteric vein, which is fed from the jejuno ilium veins. And then it's met by the, uh, the lienogastric vein which is draining blood from the stomach in the gastric vein and from the spleen in the lianic vein. After that junction, so where the mesenteric vein is met by the lianogastric vein, is referred to as the hepatic portal vein. The hepatic portal vein is going to go up into the liver. The other structures that we have to identify on this view are the stomach, the jejuno ilium, the left kidney, the liver, it's kind of a big one, but what is it? Gallbladder, and the pancreas has been removed, but it would be in here.